incredible service. It's staffed by two people I consider to be health heroes, Debbie Doherty and Justine Kennedy. And they're both assisted by staff from community, whichever particular authority it is, community NHS and public health uh, frontline staff, health educators. Uh, I, I put in blood letters here. This is health education advice that actually works. The service is funded by eight Merseyside and Cheshire local authorities on a collective basis and is administered by Cheshire and Merseyside strategic clinical network. The directors of public health, including Wirral, have made a unilateral decision to cease funding on the 31st of March 2015. And my point about this is this cannot be allowed to happen. If I could put one extra one today, if anybody listening to me on Merseyside this afternoon, if you haven't, yeah. you, did you hear it? Yeah. Just if you go to iPlayer, right, and it's just a little bit before, it's the afternoon pro program. And they have the IBAN was in Church Street in Liverpool today. By the way, if you've never seen the IBAN, it's an incredible, I, I call it a prompt. It's, it, it looks like an ambulance, right, if you've never seen it, right? And basically people look at it and go, what's an ambulance doing park car park, an ambulance car park, or in Church Street? And it's got on the side of it, it's, it's about, a lot of it's about cancer and women. And people walk on. It's a gigantic prompt because there are many people, and I make the point, right, and I have no professional qualifications, but for many people, if there's no pain, there's no problem, and they will ignore conditions. And when they do present, one of the major ones, fellows of my age, is bowel cancer. Bowel cancer is preventable, right? <coughs> many fellows took the test strips in the bed. That's it, right? Also, lots of other areas as well. Anyway, to come to the point, Radio Merseyside did, 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 did an interview, and they had um, on, on, on the island today with, with Justine Kennedy. And apparently today, or the next few days, there is a convention in Liverpool of optometrists. I implore you to listen to this, right? Go to iPlayer and listen to it. And this professor of oncology, she, she's Dutch, her words are, she, I, I wrote it down, she said, this is my dream. This is the movie of Mercedes. Because when you see it, and this is what I this is my this is my point, not just here, but for all the authorities, right? Is for politicians, I challenge you to go and have a look at it and tell me that this should be the funding should be withdrawn because it would be a travesty if it happened. Well, thank you very much. I I don't accept your challenge because I don't think you do things by looking at it. Well, we, your, letter, your question has gone on to public health. I would simply like to ask them what, how do they measure the success of this as a way of alerting people to the dangers of their health, given the efforts that the government now has when we try to keep ourselves healthy rather than deal with this when we're actually mentally ill. That's a really good point. Thank you. Can I make one final bit? Um, I've actually called for uh, official information for the, for the performance report of, of the island, uh, which I'm entitled to, right? Because I'll make, I'll make a little statement. In health education, there's a lot of box ticking on that, right? Like the one for the NHS and also public health authorities, and a lot of it, and I have experience of it, this actually delivers, right? That's all it is. Well, will you actually send me a copy of your request? And I will also ask you to copy them to the reply. You get it. So, will you copy me the request you've made of the Freedom of Information Act? I will then write to them and say, when they reply to you, could they copy me so we can then take it up from there? I've actually done the question on that. Oh, that's right. very good. All right. When I get it, I will give them to Perhaps you give me a note of that and then I'll pull it up. All right? Great. Is there any kind of question? Yes. Yeah, Go hi everyone. My name is Tracy Blood. I'm a parent governor at Woodlands Primary School, Birkenhead. My question was regarding the lollipop people. We have one at the Woodlands and one at St. Werberg. And if also look at page 50 of your big papers, there's going to be a risk assessment done. Um, I stand there every single day. Um, and parents park on the zigzags, if you park on the yellow, jump out, grab the kid and get in. And when people come round the Road on Western Lane, it's an absolute nightmare. Is, is it going to take the death of a child before we can have our lollipop person stay with us? Thank you. Or oh, is there other ways we can raise the money so she can put it? Yeah. Lollipop man or woman stay. Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you for what you've made tonight's meeting.